we will try to prove here a statement here that every proper or full binary tree with n leaf must have n minus 1 internal node so a binary tree what is a binary tree binary tree has can have maximum of two child maximum two child but a proper or full binary tree can have two child or zero child it will have it can have two child or it won't have any child either it will have two child or it will have no child so that's the condition of full or proper binary tree so the problem here is if it has n leaf node what is leaf node leaf node at the at the nodes that doesn't have any children so these two are the leaf nodes if i draw some more nodes here so these three this one this one and this one doesn't have any further more children but this has two children this has two children so these are not leaf nodes these three are leaf nodes and internal node internal node are those that has children so this has two children this has two children so these two are the internal nodes and these three are the leaf nodes here so if it has n leaf nodes it must have n minus one internal node so it has one two three leaf nodes and one two internal nodes so i'm going to prove here not mathematically but <coughs> in uh, in a way that everyone can understand that uh, this property holds for every proper binary tree So let's draw a single node. This is not an internal node. internal node. This is a leaf node. So the property holds one leaf node, leaf node, and internal node. So when you have one leaf node, you have zero internal node. That is obvious. So one leaf node it can't have an internal node. So let's give it some internal nodes here. So now it has two leaf node. Look carefully here. This was the leaf node before, but when I gave it two inter two leaf nodes this isn't a leaf node anymore so leaf node is decreased by one so leaf node is decreased by one uh, okay leaf node was initially one so now decreased by one and increased by two increased by two so what is that that remains two and internal node is increased by one internal node is increased by one so this will happen every time so if i give here two leaf nodes look this was a leaf node before so this is no longer a leaf node a leaf node is decreased by one so we had one leaf node sorry we had two and one so we had two leaf nodes and one lost is one is no longer a leaf node so it, it became an internal node so internal node is increased by one and leaf node also is increased by one leaf node is also increased by 1 why is that because 
when we meet this internal node leaf node was decreased by 1 and increased by 2 that leaves us with plus 1 so every time decreased by 1 increased by 2 that leaves increased by 1 so every time leaf node is increased by 1 and de decreased by sorry increased decreased by 1 and increased by 2 that leaves increased by 1 <coughs> so this is how it goes for a proper binary tree every time the internal node will increase by one because you can't add you if, if you add a node here you must add in a leaf node you can't add in a internal node that is not possible because you are allowed to give only two or zero child so you must give you must choose this one of these three so if you choose this one this is no longer an <coughs> leaf node this will become an internal so internal node will be increased by one internal node increased by one already you must give two children so internal node is increased by one and leaf node this was a different this is no longer leaf node so leaf node is decreased by one and increased by two that means leaf node is increased by one every time leaf node is increased by one and internal node is increased by one also so three four and three and we can go on five four and the catch was here when we added the first one the first one with this was a leaf node and we had zero internal node and after that every time the leaf node was increased by one and internal node is increased by one and now I hope you can visualize why that happens I hope this helps thanks for watching